Foy and welcome to Destination Unknown. And joining me as always is my lovely co-host, Michelle Hubbard. And Michelle, good to have you back. Thank you, nice to be here. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. And today's topic is what? Today's topic is, um, you know, we talk about our GPS for traveling in the unknown, lift yourself to the stars. And it's been a while since we talked about what STARS goals are. And, you know, when you're traveling in the unknown, the unknown can look like a huge, great big sky. And, well, what's in the sky? STARS. And STARS just aren't there for decorations. They're there as a means of navigation, a means, they're, I think of them as nature's GPS and uh, they're what sailors use uh, to get where they need to go. So um, STARS goals are a way of getting ourselves to where we want to go and make the unknown not quite so vast and maybe scary, um, but something we're kind of moving through at easy, comfortable little steps. So we're going to unpack our roadmap, <laughs> probably our charts to the, the astronomical charts, as far as the astronomy is concerned, our flashlight, our compass, and we're ready to rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll. So what I thought we could do today, and I'd like to invite everyone who's watching to join us as well, uh, is to set a goal. And then next month we'll check in with each other and see where we are, how, you know, how it worked out. Now, STARS goals, one of the, you know, I've taken a lot of sales training, you probably have as well, and you set a goal and you stick to it and you achieve it, or you beat yourself up, which is why no one likes to set goals. STARS goals are really simple and really easy and really flexible. So if, you know, between now and when, uh, a month from now, when we next get together and check in with each other, it starts to not work. It starts to need some editing, maybe some fine tuning, maybe some total and complete trashing and something else moving in. Go ahead and allow yourself that kind of ease. It's not supposed to be hard or guilt ridden. Okay, very good. Okay, um, I will uh, set a goal uh, with you and I'll write down your goal and you know, kind of help tease your goal out and then you do the same for me. How about that? That works. Okay. The first step in a STARS goal is what's the simplest step that you can take towards your goal? Now, do you have an idea of, of a goal or? Well, you know, we talked about this a couple of months ago. Uh, I've got a granddaughter that lives in Indiana. Right. And it's my goal to visit her in a couple of months. Right. For her birthday. She will be a 10 year old granddaughter. Congratulations, Thank that's you. awesome. So I'm looking forward to the trip and we had embarked on setting a goal for savings right. between that period of time till the time I'm ready to leave. And I'm happy to report that that goal is on track. Woohoo! So, that being said, you know, the encouragement is to continue in that pathway in order to make the visit in August. Well, if you're already succeeding, is there much chance that you aren't going to continue on that path? The only thing that would get me off track is if there were an unexpected expense, like a car repair bill or some other you know, anomaly that would come up between now and then. And um, is part of your intention as you set the goal that you're going to be making a contribution towards that provided there aren't any extraordinary expenses that come up? That is correct. Yeah, so I think we already have that goal covered. All right. So what's something uh, else that uh, oh, is boy, that's you're a... wanting to expand in? Boy, that, that is a great, great question. Let me give that some thought in the next few minutes. Okay. Um, well, then... Um, why don't we try me then All right, while you're let's try thinking. You. Okay, so um, the first letter S is a simple step. Um, uh, an issue, think in terms of what's an issue, a problem, a concern, an idea, a vision that's up for you right now. Um, a vision that is up for me right now is an adult color book I'm, I'm working on with my nephew uh, that is based on Lift Yourself to the Stars. And it has been over a month since I have touched it. 
done anything to it. And I would like to have it complete, but um, that's not going to happen <laughs> if I don't do anything with it. So I would like to work on my book every day between now and when we next get together. Okay, so I'll put down here, work on coloring book. Yes. Um, and uh, it can even be as little as write a sentence, just so I do something on it every day. It could be right. as little as, as a sentence, as much as several pages. All right, I've got this down. Okay. The next letter is the letter T, and that stands for timing, which is uh, by when will this goal be accomplished? So um, I will say that it will be accomplished at our next taping, which is going to be approximately a month away. So let's say next uh, taping. Okay. Okay. And you can make your goal, uh, you know, depending on what your goal is, it could be like from week to week. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, if it's a goal that isn't really fully fleshed or landed yet, you might want to make it just day to day and check in with yourself and see how it's, you know, fitting you. All right. Now, the letter A, this is a really important aspect of a STARS goal, and it's, is this goal achievable? Do you feel like it's something that maybe is a little bit of a stretch, but don't be setting yourself up for failure? It is not going to happen if you're used to eating five meals a day, the majority of which are sweets, for you to say, I'm not going to be eating any more sweets anymore for the whole month starting right now. Go ahead, taper off. Make it, a, you know, make it something that's achievable, whatever your goal is. Um, so to me, this feels achievable because I've given myself you know, the element of touching um, either a sentence or you know, more. Okay. So I would say yes, that feels achievable to me. And so let's restate that uh, achievability one more time. Yeah, um, something that's a little bit of a stretch, but doesn't feel like you're setting yourself up for failure or self-sabotaging. Uh, because that's one of the things we say we hate goals for, but who sets the goal? Well, you know, if you set yourself up for something that you don't really want to do, and that goes back to feeling into, do I have a yes or a no to this? Um, you know, it's, it's not going to happen for you. You're going to lose so interest. Then the goal would be for you is to write a sentence or two or even more every day. Yes, between now and when we next film. Okay, very good. Okay. So the letter R, um, when I'm actually working with clients on this, one of the things we do is um, uh, I give them homework to identify what are some of your life intentions, what are some of your uh, uh, personal interests that have your heart. Um, thanks to our producer, Paul, one of the things I do with them is ask them to look at their calendar. What have they been doing every day? What of that did they actually enjoy doing? What of that do they want to replace with something else? Uh, find out what's really relevant to you. So the letter R stands for relevant. Uh, how is this goal something that is important to you, that means something to you, and that touches on an area of your life that has some energy to it that maybe when the going gets tough on the goal or, or maybe when you're evaluating is that wording or is that goal itself really what you want to do, this will be a way to check in with yourself and see is this a yes or a no for me. So for me, ways that this goal is relevant is Lift Yourself to the Stars is my creation. It's my baby. It is what brought me from Hawaii to California whole and complete and in a way that's at least continuing to evolve and heal. It is my way of simplifying tools that for me became very overwhelming. And uh, it's got a, a level of organization to it that I think helps others to understand and use the tools really easily. And it's important to me because it takes us all the way back into ourselves and identifying all that we are, including the invisible parts. And I believe this is crucially important at this time in where the world is because of two things. One, I want us to be able to listen to our inner guidance, to our all that we are, to keep ourselves safe because there is an awful lot of random, unpredictable violence that's occurring at an increasing level in our country, in our world, 
And then the other reason is because this level of being individuals, owning our own truths, touching our own heart in ways that also tap into this guidance that comes through us intuitively, these types of communities connecting at this level is how we're going to move forward, is how uh, we're going to be able to lead and heal and help each other. Because when we look at a lot of institutions, including government and religion and politics and education and systems, they aren't supporting us like they used to. And it's going to be us uniquely, wholly, completely all that we are, helping each other that's going to move us forward. So my coloring book, Lift Yourself to the Stars, is a way of getting this information out in a way that's fun, that's easy. There are studies that show that adult coloring is has the equivalent effect of meditation on you. It's pretty, you get to make it. Um, and it shares the tools that will help you stay in touch with yourself. And that's what's most important enough for me right now and why I do everything I do. So it's a matter of self-expression. Absolutely, and it's a matter of self-expression on what I believe is uh, my, my thing to do right now, my, my truth to share right now. So um, it's expressing. Uh, what deep in my heart is, is most important for me to be expressing. And does a person have to keep within the lines when they're, when they're coloring? Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. In fact, there's one drawing uh, that my nephew drew, and I don't know if it's how he intentionally drew it or how it came uh, you know, through the various uh, means of technology it took to get it to me, but it's a figure, uh, one of his doodly figures, um, that has some shoes on, and down at the bottom, the lines are not complete for the shoes. And I realized that drove me crazy. I wanted to get in there and fill in the line and make it, you know, look what I thought was perfect. And I thought, oh, well, simply because of that, you have to leave it just the way it is. So, you know, do you want to draw roots out of those shoes? Do you want to draw a circle around the drawing? Whatever you want to do, this is that kind of a play. Playpen, playtime. Well, you know, you mentioned the holes in the bottom of the shoe and you mentioned the roots. Does that mean that a person might, in a, in a way, saying, I need to be planted here or planted there in doing my day-to-day -day life? Maybe so. You get to make up whatever uh, interpretation you want on whatever it is you're coloring. All right, very good. Yeah. So the next letter, S. This is something that I found totally lacking in every... Uh, coaching uh, system of goals that I was taught, uh, that I was expected to do myself, and this is the letter S that stands for support. How is this goal? How is this goal going to be supported? One way is through a buddy, and um, we're stuck with each other. So here, here, Bill and I are our goal buddies. I invite you to. And have a friend that you can kind of, you know, let know. Would you be willing to hear how I'm doing on my goal today, tomorrow, every few days? Can I check in with you? Uh, have someone who's sharing the journey with you, who's supporting you as you move towards this goal that is very relevant and important to you. So uh, my goal, um, I would like to check in with you at Setabello. Okay. Maybe... Um, every week to 10 days? That works for me. Okay, so that's how I am requesting Bill to support me in my goal. And also, would you be available for texts if I feel like I oh, have yes. something that's happened and I want to share that I feel excited about? You know, and that's something that we've done even without that public acknowledgement in other areas that, you know, that you've had issues with in the, in the last couple of months. And, you know, it's, I'm a text away. Yeah, so um, I appreciate you being willing to uh, uh, support me and celebrate with me my goal. So make your request, make it specific. I noticed that uh, seven to 10 days wasn't feeling like maybe quite enough attention from you, so uh, requested also text availability. Now, the next part of supported is how am I gonna support myself as I achieve my goal? And I would do this by celebrating. How am I going to celebrate my goal? Well, I am horrible at <laughs> celebrating myself. I think, you know, I think sometimes, I know for myself, the same way. So, um, hmm, I want to celebrate myself every day so that I keep 
doing this goal every day. And um, okay, something that I really enjoy is Hershey's Chocolate Kisses. So every day after I have written whatever I'm going to write, I'm going to give myself a kiss, a chocolate kiss. A chocolate kiss. Huh? Yeah. So um, my support is going to be you at Cetabello and through text and me giving myself a Hershey's Kiss celebration. All right. Excellent. And that is my STARS goal. All right. So. Yeah. As you have been sharing. Yes. I thought to myself, self, what would <laughs> I like to accomplish? Yeah. And the thing that, you know, as, as I mentioned, is going to be taking this trip in August. Yeah. Um, and that's something I think it's going to be realized, without a doubt. Yeah. But beyond that. Uh, it, for me, it's more of the financial thing mm -hmm. because I make a payment on a car right now and I'm almost at the halfway point, but I want to accelerate that oh, okay. so I have it paid off a lot sooner mm -hmm. and that way I won't be encumbered with that debt for a, a longer period of time. Wow. So is your goal then to accelerate the payment on your car or to accelerate the payment that you put towards your vacation? Accelerate the payment or the car after the vacation. I see, okay, so there's a, 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 a goal and a timing element to it that, that we've got. Right. Going. Okay, so I won't be able to check in with you till after you get back from your vacation Correct. on this goal. Okay, so the goal you're gonna set today is um, accelerate car payment. And then the time element is gonna be uh, after you get back from your vacation. Latter part of August, first part of September, yes. Okay, do you want to make a, a specific um, date as to when you'll start increasing your payment, like with your September payment? or With my September payment. Okay. Okay. Now, does this feel achievable to you? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, um, what uh, makes this goal really relevant and important to your heart? Well, what is relevant to me is, again, once the car has been paid off, it's fully mine, I own title. Yeah. And then I can have more freedom as to what I want to do with the car. Do I want to retain it? Do I want to sell it, upgrade? Um, so I would have a little bit more freedom. Yeah. Also, there's a cost also factor. Also, options, sounds like. And there's also, with uh, the car being financed, you have to have all the coverages in the world. You have to have comprehensive. And then I can maybe scale back a little bit on how much insurance is going to be needed to cover that car. Huh. Yeah, that's a, that's a great perspective. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, so there's a lot of ways this goal is relevant. Exactly. So you have a goal so far of accelerating your car payment and this will uh, take place after uh, your vacation with your September payment. And it still feels achievable? Still feels very achievable. And it's relevant because you'll fully own your car, you'll have freedom in terms of finances and what you can do with the car, you'll have all sorts of options. And it'll give me more flexibility with my income because I can take that money for the car and set it aside for future trips. Exactly. Yeah, so income flexibility, and you can scale back on coverages that you're paying for. Right. Okay. Now, um, how uh, can I support you uh, as you move towards this goal? Well, again, you, you've asked a very good question. Um, again, I think it would come back to getting together at Sotobello's, checking okay. in, the text messages back and forth. Um, that seems to be very effective for both of us. Mm -hmm. And so that is something where that accountability, and I think what you're trying to say with the, the final S in that equation is accountability. Be accountable to somebody. Yeah, accountability, you know, that's become a kind of a harsh term. So I think it might be more along the lines of responsibility, meaning literally response ability. So we're in connection and if maybe I'm kind of slacking, but I don't want to admit it, you would say something and then I have the opportunity to respond to that. Yeah, I hate this goal, let's set another one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> now, okay, here's the toughie. 
Okay. How are you going to celebrate yourself? Well, uh, that's, a, that's also a very good question. <laughs> um, I like, like you, I like a little bit of candy now and then. Uh, I try not to overindulge right. in, in the candy because too much of it is, can be bad. So I would, even though I, I do participate in coffee drinks, I would probably go out and celebrate with an extraordinary coffee drink awesome. that I like. I do that anyway, but, <laughs> but you know, um, in one of the programs that I'm involved with, I won't mention what companies, but it has to do with the stars. Oh. I got a gold <laughs> card now, and it's oh, like how fun. I can build up points and that kind of thing. So it's it works out. Okay, so your your goal is to accelerate your car payment uh, timing after your vacation when you get back uh, from your trip, uh, hoping to accelerate uh, with your September payment. Correct. Still feels achievable. Very achievable. Okay, super relevant because you'll fully own your car, you'll have freedom in terms of what you can do with your car and also your income flexibility. You're creating lots of options for yourself with this freedom and you'll be scaling back on your coverages. Correct. And then in terms of support, I'm supporting you when we get together at Setabello's and I'm available via text and you're going to be treating yourself to an extraordinary coffee drink. That's right. And even going to set a bellows, that's a celebration in and of itself. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what our goals are. And gosh, we'd love to hear how you're doing with your goals and what kind of goals you've set. And to do that, people can get a hold of you. You can email me at Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Hubbard, H-U-B-B-A-R-D, number four, letter U, at gmail.com. Wonderful. Michelle Hubbard, thank you so much. Thank you, Bill DeFoy. I feel happy setting goals with you. All right, so we're going to pack away our flashlight, our compass, our road maps, and we're going to join you again in the future for another edition of Destination Unknown. For Michelle Hubbard, I'm Bill DeFoy. Destination Unknown is a production of the Heritage Media Group. <laughs>